Welcome back to Ellie Golsis Inspired Flow. We are sitting in Mexico City in a car park just after a big event, a few hundred people. And that's how it's been this whole last few weeks. That's why I haven't had a moment to make any flows, inspired flows over here. Doing a lot of recordings in our Muna is our future podcast, Breslev Israel, B-R-E-S-L-E-L-E-V. If you go over there, Israel, over there, there's loads of classes during these last few weeks. And um, yeah, it's been amazing. I mean, traveling to Toronto, traveling to Miami, traveling to Mexico City, and please God, the finale, traveling to New York. We've got like a six, seven big massive events there, a thousand people expected to a few of them. And, you know, it's opportunity to really connect to a very special message of Amuna, which is all about that intrinsic belief, really believing in yourself and the power to influence and to make a better world through prayer, through meditation, through inner connection, through self-actualization, and all these wonderful concepts that you know we shared along the way, alongside with people like Gedalia Fence, though. It's amazing to be there in Miami and collaborate <coughs> with him and the Miami community, and the Lighthouse Project events, and all the other good things we did in Toronto and Mexico City with uh, the Rofi family and all the other people that's just like out of this world like the amount of people interested and in. one of the talks are in Mexico City of doing an event for over 10,000 people which is actually my vision to them to unify and bring already I got agreement from Rav Oresh, most likely of Jonathan Galed from Gedalia Fenster and we can do a massive event here in Mexico City people are welcome to contact me on my unified inspired unity bookings email which is unity inspires projects at gmail.com always put it in the notes below and on our our blog and the main thing of such an event we'd also bring music as well like Shlomo Katz would you agree to come to such an event Nissan Black, um, Yosef Kaduna and people who are very inspirational and Zusha haven't yet heard back from them but please God we will and there's such an opportunity to make such a powerful moment in history I mean I'm always hoping for better news right now I'm hearing from Israel like some pretty crazy stuff going down and we all pray that you know everything should be with peace and and protection and good news and that's part of the inspired flow in order for people to keep in that flow uh, you know the disruption is not the way I mean unless it's a positive disruption like a revolution of thought or spirituality or growth or positive mindset change or you know opportunity to increase you know new avenues of, of uh, Shefa, of divine abundance. These kind of disruptions are good that's happened, you know, with the online world, etc. But to have the disruption of war and, you know, missiles flying at your house or country, God forbid, is like not something which is going to help a good flow with, you know, schooling your kids and working and doing everything a person has the right to do in life. So really, I've only got a few more minutes sitting here. And since it's been a while, we just pray that, please God, we'll have that amuna, that intrinsic belief in ourselves and intrinsic belief in our godly essence. And that will give us a big key to overcome the, uh, you know, all the challenges to let go, as Gedalia's Fenster spoke about. And as Rav Shalom Rosh has been speaking about, this, this power to affect change has so much to do with mindset and practice, how often you set aside time to really internalize who you are, what you're doing here, and what your message is in the world. And I really want everybody here to just, you know, share their flow a little bit. Talking over in a five, six minute, you know, little podcast is really cool. The way for me to express my love to you guys, whoever tunes in. And But the, the, the best part is when people tune back to me and give me feedback or reach out or share on so that this inspired unity flow can grow. And it comes from within. It really is a beautiful unifying force that we already have a connection to. We just have to reveal it more. And I really thank Hashem that I've had that blessing this last two weeks, you know, to just be on the road to Toronto, Miami, Mexico City, and then, and then finally in New York. And then please God, please God, and back to Jerusalem where hopefully everything will be more peaceful and there won't be any issues with the flights. We'll be able to come in, come out as we should and know that we're going home to, a, to our homeland that has the protection it deserves and the opportunity to, to have that flow. So wishing everybody a wonderful winter 
thank God it hasn't been too cold so far. So, uh, you know, appreciating the warmth that's that's in the world right now and the warmth that's uh, coming from people's hearts and love of all the different people I've connected with. And uh, we there's just such an opportunity, you know, to just grow things in all these destinations and to develop more unified unity experiences, unity events, and create more Muna in the world. But people really have that, that first... Uh, quenched a little bit that they'll feel that inner pain the inner struggle somewhat you know put into the perspective that it's dealable and and able to be transformative to a positive life so all the love keep in touch you live unity share unity and please please keep on with the unity inspired flow in the whole world and we'll see please God the Mashiach so these kind of tours would just be the preparation for such special times ahead